Ultralab instrumentation is the ideal solution for fast, accurate, and versatile color measurement in the plastics industry, for both processors and molders alike. Ultralab's instruments allow you to monitor all aspects of the plastic industry, from raw materials inspection to in-process sampling and product development. The LAB scale is the most commonly used color scale. Essentially, the LAB scale was created to reproduce how our eyes and brain communicate color. The L axis is a measure of the lightness of your product. On the L axis, L equals zero is total absorption, whereas pure white would equal 100. Next is the A axis, which describes the green to redness factor. A positive A would have more red in it, while a negative A value would have more green. Last is the B axis, which represents the blue to yellowness of the product. A positive B value would be a more yellow product, while a negative B value would be a more blue product. There are three main categories of instruments. First are the portable systems, which allow you to measure color wherever you need. Run by battery power, they give you the ability to measure samples directly on the production floor, in storage areas, shipping departments, or anywhere else you can think of. There are also numerous types of benchtop systems varying depending on your exact function. The beauty of the benchtop systems is that they maintain the perfect balance between sample measurement precision and versatility. Lastly are online systems which are able to provide continuous real-time measurements of your products. They are often found on the processing lines for 24-7 inspection, which allows you to respond to product color changes when they happen. Northeastern U.S. sales representative Ken Wendt will now demonstrate how to use the UltraScan Viz, a visible range, high-performance benchtop system. Many millions of pounds of plastic are produced every day. In this application, we're measuring plastic bottles going from the raw product, the preformed state, the cutout of the finished bottle, and label. When measuring the plastic resin, we place it in a clear quartz cuvette. Using large area view, we simply place the product in front of the spectrophotometer, cover it to shield any ambient lighting, and take a reading. And here we're comparing our sample against our standard and seeing that our LAB value is raw well within tolerance, a brightness value of approximately 31, and graphically showing it well within the uh, tolerance plot. Okay, once we've finished measuring the resonant and reflectance, the next step in the process is measuring our preforms. Here we'll measure these in transmission, but in order to look through the center of the two wall preform, we'll be using our small area view rather than the large area view and placing that in the center of the unit. Once we've finished measuring the preform, bottles blown to a finished product and here we have a sample cutout from the bottle and we want to measure both color and haze first we use the white tile then we measure the same sample but using the light trap We've got our LAB values, a description of the product against its standard, and the haze calculation, which here is showing 1.9% haze with its two components of the total transmission and the diffuse transmission. And other related applications include measuring the color of the labeling and the product. Here I'm using our two inch cuvette which simulates the diameter of a typical bottle. And Hunter Lab instrument can measure the transmitted color and the haze of our finished product. Hunter Lab systems measure the reflected and transmitted color, whiteness, yellowness, and haze of plastic products. They give numerical values that correlate to what you see and are ideal for measuring anything from raw materials to the finished product. Contact your local Hunter Lab sales representative for more details or a demonstration.
Thank you.